Ho, ho, ho. What, what's up, everyone? Merry that's, Christmas. Merry Christmas. It is almost Christmas next week. Um, but that's not important, Justin. What's important not is important. the upcoming Nobody game between the Titans and the Redskins this Saturday, not Sunday. So if you mark your calendars to watch the Titans game on Sunday, you will miss it by a day. It is actually on Sunday. Um, and uh, this yep. is going to be the episode where we break down that. Oh crap! Where we break down that game. As you can see, I have a new little addition to the desk, Marcus Murray Ota. So I thought I would match him like wear my jersey. Um, yeah, we're going to break down the game. Before we do that, quick shout out to our sponsors, Hangtin.com. Go get yourself right. some some Christmas t-shirts. gifts, t-shirts. Use the code TitansTube for 10% off your order. If you get hungry at Christmas and you want some barbecue, go get yourself some barbecue sauce from Backyard Dog Barbecue Sauce. You can find out more in That's the right. description below. Logo. Also, Merry Christmas and thank you to all of our uh, continued support from our patrons, new and old. You guys, the real MVPs. Yo, also, uh, going to give a shout out to the Pro Bowlers, Justin. They announced the Pro Bowl yeah, roster. Buddy. We had three Titans make it. Who are they? They are <clears throat> one from each phase of the game, so all parts equally recognized. What a what a great way that worked out, I guess. We got Taylor Lewan, uh, I think it's third straight Pro Bowl. Jarrell Casey uh, going to his fourth straight Pro Bowl, and I believe I heard this stat. It was on Twitter, so it has to be true that Jarrell Casey's uh, four consecutive Pro Bowls are the most by any Titans ever in the Titan era. Of course, there's Bruce Matthews who made like 1,100 straight Pro Bowls, but he, I guess that factors with the Oilers or whatever. But <coughs> And um, also, hold on. So congrats to Jarrell Casey. And also, play. apparently he turned down uh, in the two years previous to his first actual selection, he turned down two years in a row on alternate. So he could have been going to the Pro Bowl six straight years. Yeah, um, that's true. He wanted that respect for actually being voted in yeah. as a true Pro Bowler, regardless. Of um, and also, of course, of course, Brett Kern, the the best, most precise punter in the brand. NFL, pinning people deep all season long. Brett Kern continues to get it done. Man, we've got our, our punter history is fantastic because we've had two: Craig Hendrick and Brett Kern, and we've been a team for twenty years now. So, uh, so great punting, Ju- guys. Justin, we, we, don't want to spend a lot of time on this, but do you think there was any Titans players that you thought got snubbed from a Pro Bowl vote? Yes. I think the only true snub I think is Kevin Byard because when I looked at who was uh, selected, I saw Derwin James, who had a fantastic r- rookie year. No complaints about that. But Eric Weddle, that's that's the, that's a name recognition vote in because I looked at his stats and Kevin Byard has him beat on every single stat category, and he he's more versatile in my opinion. I mean, Eric Weddle, not hating on him, he's a great player. He's been a great safety in this league for a long time. But I think Byard clearly had a better season than Eric Weddle. But he is an alternate, so maybe. Maybe he'll he'll sneak his way in if one of what? those two don't go. Dude, you're kidding me. None of the Titans are going to end up playing in the Pro Bowl because we're going to be preparing for the oh. Super Bowl, bro. Oh, oh that's right. <laughs> uh, what about you? Did you think anyone got snubbed? Uh, yeah, I mean, Kevin Byard is kind of an obvious one. I also probably would have thrown Jayon Brown in there. I think Jayon Brown's had an incredible season. Yeah. I don't know if his stats like show necessarily that he should have been a Pro Bowl caliber dude, but uh, if you've been watching the Titans, I think he deserves the Pro Bowl. Um, I also would I say mean, he's a – Darius yeah. Jennings, I mean, come on. The dude's been leading the the kick return game, like the, the league in kick returning average for like the whole season. So I don't know how he yeah, makes it in that's there. That's a good point. I didn't I didn't think about that. That's because now kick kick returning is now getting more and more irrelevant as touchbacks just happen all the time now. But he's yeah, he's had a fantastic yeah. season. And I know I know when the, the Pro Bowl votes originally came out, he was he was top ten and voting for that position. So I don't really know how he made it. I just think he's just kind of a no name guy back there. Uh, sorry sorry Darius, but you should have made it. But that's all I got. Yeah. O- o- overall though, it, I'm I'm pleased that we got players in the Pro Bowl because I kind of half expected us to get snubbed. Oh, yeah, this I year did too. I don't know. It's I don't just know. kind of a thing that happens with Dr- us. Drill case. But, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy we had those three guys in there. Okay. That's that's enough of Pro Bowl talk. Let's talk about the Redskins, yeah. Justin. This Redskins team that is seven and seven and technically still in the hunt for a playoff spot. And they just beat our I would say arch nemesis, but we kinda own them, the Jacksonville Jaguars last week on the last second field goal, sixteen to thirteen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man, let's just take a moment <laughs> and laugh at how bad the Jaguars season has been. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 suck it, Jags. Okay. <laughs> um, All right. Very good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What? What? What's gonna be your? Uh, what's? What? What you? What you gotta say about about this game, Justin? What you gotta uh, say? Well. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah. There, I mean, there, there's a, there's a lot to say here, and and I know. Listen. Okay. The the Titans once again 
uh, find themselves in a situation where it's easy to to look ahead to that to that week 17 matchup. It's it's so tempting to just look ahead and get so excited to to try to take down the Colts again. I hate the Colts. Or take down the Colts for the first time in what feels like ever against Andrew Luck uh, to get into the postseason. But just just pump the brakes, Titans fans. I'm, I'm it just make it drives me crazy when. I, I see comments on our YouTube videos or social media on Twitter or, or any other kind of social media platform where, where Titans fans are just talking about, can't wait for the Colts game. Man, I can't wait till that win and get in scenario. No, that makes me bleed for my Ooh. ears. Literally. There's blood coming it. down just, just all the time now. Because, uh, guys, we, we can't look ahead, especially with this team. I mean, and Washington isn't even a team that's – it's not like they have a four and ten record and they're coming in and their season's over and they're just trying to to get through the rest of the year. No, like you said, they don't. They only have one less win than we do. And if they win their last two games, that actually puts them in a very good spot to get that last spot in the NFC playoffs. Probably not going to happen because they have to play us and then I think another tough NFC team. But still, that they're going to come ready to play. They have so much to play for and that they're going to bring their A game. Uh, and so in the NFL, you can't overlook any team. And I know given their injuries. Uh, especially on offense, it's it's easy to say, oh, the Titans should take care of business. But, Caleb, how many times have we seen the Titans in this position and th- we just get burned? The Titans burn us and break our hearts. Uh, just not taking care of business and getting to, to that last uh, – and they tried to uh, burn us last year by <laughs> almost ending the season on a four-game losing streak. But we managed to, to rally against the Jags in the final game to get to the playoffs. So, I mean, just, just given the Titans' history, I, I do not – I mean, f- f- all right, do what you want. Fans can look ahead, but I just don't want this team and these coaches to, to be looking ahead, and I don't think they are. Uh, I think they, they know what's at stake, and they're going to come ready to play, hopefully on Saturday. Um, I'm sorry, those are just my initial thoughts. I just have to get that off my chest a little bit. I, I just hate when I see people looking ahead and just wanting to get to that Colts game. Like, no, we, we got to come ready to beat this, this playoff hopeful team that, that's coming in our house, trying to spoil the holidays for yeah. us. No, that's, um, but I don't know. What, what are your what are your, what are your thoughts on that? Because then we can actually get into the. I breakdown. mean, uh, you're, you're spot on. This the Titans team all season under Vrabel, rookie head coach, has struggled in dealing with success. We've beaten the teams that you don't think we should have yeah. beat, and then we've just laid eggs against the teams that you thought we would just kind of roll over, uh, minus some of the AFC South opponents. But once again, we're coming into this game with a three-game win streak. So you know, it's just yeah. time. It's that time of the season again for Titans fans to get really excited and get your hopes up, only to possibly have them dashed by a team that yeah we might overlook so yeah there's no overlooking here uh you can't overlook the redskins um but more than any other team in the nfl this redskins team most of their wins came on the front end of all their injuries i would say so we're looking at a very different redskins team uh than the one that started what were they six and three or two Two, yeah six and two or six started off very hot leading the nfc east behind alex smith obviously we know what happened to him uh and then other than that i mean looking at their injury report and then their backup quarterback got hurt and then mark sanchez sucks and now they've signed josh johnson who was just sitting on his butt on the couch or doing something but but their injury list is so long that uh it would take the whole episode to read it basically but but yeah, yeah but it's still i mean it's it's the NFL. It's a week-to-week league. Uh, all the players, all these backup players, even if they were just signed off the couch, have skill and talent, and it's a team game. So, yeah, and they have something to play for. Um, and they have a coach, Jay Gruden. He's a good coach. He can get them, he can get them there. They got a yeah. solid, talented running back in Adrian Peterson, a bruiser. I mean, they got players. So we can't just overlook this game and go ahead to the Colts game. We need to win this game because we cannot give it up. Um, so, yeah, I think you're spot on. Yeah. <clears throat> and it's yeah, and it's going to be a little tricky because, like you said, Josh Johnson coming in off the street. I mean, he he went into that Jacksonville game, and I mean, he didn't put up fantastic numbers, but he didn't have a, a bad game. I think he was sixteen for twenty five, one hundred fifty yards, and, and a touchdown, like game manager kind of numbers. But a guy coming in off the street and not even knowing all the players on his team, like that's that's pretty impressive. And like you said, Jay Gruden, kind of an offensive minded head coach, has a has a mobile quarterback with some speed. He he could get himself together a little tricky game plan or something and, and come at us because it's hard to, to know how our defense is going to play this guy with such limited film tape to, to study off of and knowing what he does well and what he doesn't do as well. Um, but, yeah, they, they have – you know, it's it's going to be interesting keeping a track of these injuries. Jordan Reed is one of their best – is one of the best tight ends in the NFL, especially in the receiving department, uh, who's been struggling 
with an injury. Uh, so he's been limited in practice this week. We'll have to keep an eye on that because that's a big time player for him. Um, but really, but really, what I want to look at is is their defense. And I think they have a, a pretty, like, I don't know, do people talk about their defense? That seems pretty underrated whenever I look at the stats. As a team, they've recorded more sacks than we have. They've recorded more interceptions than we have. Uh, their front four, or not front four, but front seven, really, has a lot of talent on it, uh, especially starting with Ryan Kerrigan, probably one of the best defensive ends or outside linebackers or just pass rushers in general that nobody talks about. He's been playing for like eight years and averages 10 sacks every season. He's already got 11 this season. Uh, and so he's already into double yeah, digits. He's, he's already, he's already, yeah, he's already got that double digit sack number for him. Uh, also, uh, who else? Jonathan Allen, seven sacks, Matthew Ian, Ianitis, seven and a half sacks. Uh, and our leading sack leader, Jarrell Casey, has seven. So they've got three guys with as many or more sacks than Jarrell Casey. Also, Deron Payne, a, a lineman, has five sacks. Uh, Preston Smith, four sacks. So they've, they've got multiple guys with multiple sacks, like multiple guys that, that can make plays. Um, so, I mean, they've got talent. And obviously, they have Zach Brown, too. Who remembers Zach Brown? Zach Brown former Titan. Is the speedster, speedster linebacker, former Titan, who went to the – what I he went to the bills, bills and then and redskins. Then redskins yeah he was a oh. pro bowler with the bills surprisingly yeah. so the guy had a good season yeah. in there yeah another another just player with with great talent uh so i mean we and as, as well as we're running the football and as well as our offensive line is playing we've got to come and bring our a game again because because they got they got some playmakers there and obviously we know about josh norman in the secondary uh dj swearinger a hard-hitting safety leading their team with former four houston picks. texan so um, we hate him he sucks Ooh, ooh, yeah yeah, we need we need to find a way for Derrick Henry to truck him truck if possible. Him, um, so yeah, there's there's no no reason to to be taking this defense lightly. We we've got to come ready to to control the trenches and smash them and, and insert our impose our will from the get go. Um, but that's I don't know that. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I've, no. I've been rambling for a while about some of their talent. Yeah, they have. yeah. I I mean, they have a lot of talent. I didn't even see this, but Josh Johnson is actually listed on the uh, injury report as well with an ankle. So, <laughs> but I assume he's playing. Uh, it's not that bad. But yeah, that's yeah, just how decimated they've been. They're on their what fourth different quarterback, and he's still on injury on the injury report. But yeah, I think their defense is a little yeah. underrated. If you're looking at stats, they're they're 18th overall 18th in rushing and 18th in passing defense so uh oh, yeah. kind of middle yeah, of the I road a little it's towards the end a little below average but um uh, they still have the players like you said and also they're plus minus nine in the turnover game so pretty opportunistic defense if we get caught making some sloppy plays uh mariota makes you know a few costly turnovers you know this game could easily go the other way or come down to the wire um that being said, I don't think it will. I think just the talent we have, even in w- with us dealing with some injuries, uh, our own. I know yeah. what Wesley Woodyard didn't practice today. Tajay Sharp missed practice today. Jarrell Casey, did Jarrell Casey practice? Did you? Uh, no, he yeah, he's no, he missed practice too. But I think that that's got to be more precautionary, just letting him rest up and and get ready. But yeah, Wesley Woodyard has a back injury that was on the injury report. I don't know what that's about. Obviously, Logan Ryan yep. out for the season, too. But Kenny Vaccaro returned for practice, so Very that good. is a plus from, from all the negatives that, that we're seeing here. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, we, we've, got our, we've got our own injuries that we're dealing with as well. Yeah, but, but overall, um, this team, this Redskins team in its current state doesn't scare me that much, especially with how we're playing at home with our playoff hopes on the line. We have to win out to get there. I know with a little bit of help from the Steelers and Ravens possibly losing, but I, I think mm-hmm. this team's going to come ready to play. Um, we've had a few solid good weeks relying on the legs of Derrick Henry, or should I say legs and stiff arms of Derrick Henry, and then also our defense. And looking at this Redskins offense, how how they've been decimated by injuries and how they're on their fourth quarterback. I think we're going to be able to shut them down. Um, how, I mean, we shut down Sa- Saquon Barkley last week, just basically shut him out of the game. Yeah. I don't see why that should change against an aging Adrian, Adrian, Adrian Peterson, excuse me for my st- st- stutter, but uh, I don't see that changing. You're ex- 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 oh, th- th- Thank you. But I think we should shut down Adrian Peterson again. I mean, I like our run stopping ability against this uh, decimated offensive line of the Redskins. Once again, another part of the, team that's been yeah. just uh, crushed with injuries so 
Uh, yeah, I think that's going to happen. You know, I, I'm looking for possibly, I don't think we're going to get another shutout, but I think it's going to be close, man. I'm looking for our defense to really dominate this game and then uh, our offense to do enough to, to get the job done. I don't think we're going to blow them, you know, put up 30-plus points, but um, I'm looking for another solid game like we put up against yeah. the Giants where our defense just really holds that Redskins offense to almost nothing. Yeah, yeah it's, it seems that way, yeah, with, with how the, the teams are trending, especially for the Titans and how our defense has played the last two weeks. Or three weeks, really. I'll, I'll throw yeah. the Jets game in there because they, they played well. Mariota threw a pick six, so that the points against is kind of yeah. kind of skewed there. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I agree. If, if we want to get into our, our keys to the game here, I think it's pretty simple, and it kind of it parallels what we did uh, last week against the Giants. I think we got a game plan to just shut down their run game shut down Adrian Peterson, and force Josh Johnson to beat us with his arm. And we got to try to contain him and not let him get outside the pocket with his speed. Try to force Josh Johnson to beat you from the pocket with his arm. And I don't think that's going to go well for the Redskins. Um, yeah, uh, and I mean, as far as offense goes, just just play, play your ball control, run the ball, take care of the ball, no turnovers, and show up. Not, not overlooking this game for the Titans players is probably the number one key. Just don't overlook these guys because they, they can be dangerous, especially on defense. Uh, so I, th- I think if we do that, the Titans can get the win. And if I, if I can throw a throw score it. out there, I'll say 24 to okay. 13. I'll, I'll give, I'll You're going to give this good 13. team 13 points against the Titans. Come on, bro. Uh, sure. I think you, I think you sure. laid out the formula on, how, on formula on how to beat this team. I would say it's a lot more on our end, how we're going to take care of the ball and what we do. That's going to dictate the game. Um, I, I'm gonna. I'm kind of worried for some yeah. kind of trickery, some kind of trick play from the Redskins. They're very desperate. This is almost their last shot yeah. to hold on to that playoff hope. Um, so we got to be prepared for that. I think you know, I could see something crazy from special teams or, or an offensive play. And then if that happens, then we end up possibly being sloppy, uh, m- make a few turnovers. You know, this game could come down to the wire, but I, I don't see that happening. I think the team's gonna be mentally prepared. Uh, and I'm looking for another big game uh, from our defense. I'm gonna say 21. To to six, Justin. I think we're gonna kind of turn it on, pour it on the Redskins here, uh, almost shutting them out, but getting a few field goals out of uh, who's their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. He won the game for him last week. Um, sure, I'll give him six points. Yeah, whatever. But we're gonna win twenty-one to six and move on. I hope so. I don't know. I don't know, people. Do we sound too confident? Is this? Are we starting to overlook them too? I don't want to take them for granted because just I feel like every time I start having faith again. I get burned. Yeah, true. Caleb, I get burned. I get stabbed. Maybe in the we should. Gut. Last week, it's it might, it going, might going into the Giants yeah. game. We were really scared and cautious, and it turned out very well. So this game, we're sounding a little overconfident. So it yeah. might come back to bite us. So maybe we should say that I'm very scared of this game too. The Redskins might just pour it on us and just blow us out. Is that Josh Johnson? 500 passing yeah. yards. Does incoming. that eliminate yes. all of our overconfidence? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it cancels out all. I uh, just want to cancel out the all of our superstitious behavior and things yeah. that we say. But, but yeah, that's yeah. it. This is a game. I think we're clearly the better team uh, playing at home. With our both teams have the playoff shot, but we have a more of a playoff hopes on our plate. So I think we're gonna get get it done, man. I, th- yeah. I have faith in the Titans, bro. And, and it's two tone blue. Yeah, and it's exciting how how the Saturday games could play out because we have the very first game in the afternoon. And if we win that game, we can sit back, relax. And cheer Chargers. for the uh, almost said San Diego, but Los Angeles Chargers to beat the Ravens. That'll be that'll be really fun to uh, to see take place. So hopefully that's the way that the the afternoon could goes be a really Saturday. really good Saturday. Uh, and I'm man, excited, for man. Titans fans. Let's let's cross our fingers. Hope it is. Uh, and okay. go Chargers and go Titans. Go Titans first, and then go Chargers. That's how yeah. I should order yeah, it. Sorry, scared me for bro. a sec. Okay. But uh, yeah, that, that's all my Ooh. thoughts, man. We should win Washington this game. Fandom. That's all I gotta say. On the back, okay. On the back okay. of our team. All right, same here. Same here. I guess we, we can wrap it up and we can just tighten up and uh, ooh, ooh ah, feel ah, good. Feel ah, good. Ooh, ah, feel good. Let's see the Titans team roll out of the stadium for this Saturday oh, game. Yeah. Doing By the, the way, the I Titans saw this on fans. Twitter. Don't know how accurate it is, but I'm going to pitch this out to you. Uh, if you're going to the game, I heard a bunch of people are trying to organize a like a fan parade across the pedestrian bridge to the stadium where everyone is doing <laughs> the Remember the Titans dance across the pedestrian bridge. <laughs> oh so saw so people tweeting about that. So if you don't know, now you know. Go look up on Twitter. It's, I don't know who started Started it, but it's happening. Meet at the pedestrian bridge uh, Saturday and get your ooh ahs on. Oh my God. <laughs> and let's roll. That's either going to be really funny and cool Justin, or really. I think you should really go there with a the camera and get in the crowd, bro. I would. I would be there. Oh, I would be there, but hello. I can't. Yeah. 
that's a good idea. So if this actually gains momentum and takes place. Someone hit us sure, up. Someone I'll give us some more details via Twitter, Titans underscore tube underscore YT, okay? Tell us about that. Tell us about them. Tell us. Tell us. Left side. Tell us. Tell us. Tell Strong us side. Okay. There it Strong is. Strong side. <laughs> All right. Let's finish this out. Thanks for watching and listening and being a fan of the Titans. And if you're and not subscribing. a fan of the Titans, then what are you doing here? Okay. Maybe you're a fan of the Redskins. Oh, Chris, are we being man. unfair to your Redskins? Aren't aren't you guys kind of struggling right now? You have no more players left. Yeah. So, yeah. No disrespect. I apologize. I'm nothing biased. against the Redskins, yeah. minus your slightly racist name. But uh, Possibly. And your owner's kind of a, a, a yeah. bag, I guess. But as a, as those, a franchise, as those a Those are stories for another oh, day. Cool. Until now, Titan's going to get the win over the Redskins uh, on Saturday. Peace out.